Hello Captains of Naval Action. This is a quick tutorial on crew management brought to you by the US Naval Action at navalgaming.com. Good crew management is very important, important to perform well and win in battle in naval action. Between manning the guns, sailing the ship, repairing the ship, and the loss of crew in the course of battle, you will find that there is more work that needs to be done in battle than crew you have to do the work. So given that your crew is a limited resource, you have to assign your crew to the most important tasks that need to be accomplished at any given moment in battle. Crew management is accomplished with these buttons at the bottom of your screen, which are 5 through 9 on your keyboard, plus the function keys F1 through F5. On each of these buttons, you see three numbers. The number at the top of the button is simply tells you which keyboard key to use, and the two numbers at the bottom of the button tell you how many crew are currently working on the task and the number of crew needed for 100% efficiency at the task. So here you can see there are 250 crew assigned to working the guns and 370 crew is needed for 100% efficiency. And also here you'll see that there are 72 crew assigned to working the sails and 107 is what is needed for 100% efficiency at working the sails. If I want less crew working on sails, I click on the button to turn off sails and crew moves from the sails to the guns. The number of crew assigned to sails goes down and the crew working on guns goes up. I still need 370 crew to man all the guns and have 100% efficiency. I can reduce that number and make it easier to reach 100% efficiency by essentially turning off my guns by looking in the direction of the side I want to turn off and pressing the F5 function key. Here I'm turning off the starboard guns by viewing to starboard and then pressing F5. My starboard side indicates R, let's call that reserve, and the needed number of crew for 100% efficiency has gone down to 195. I now have 100% efficiency in operating the guns. I do the same thing when I want to turn the guns back on. If the guns were loaded when they were turned off, they remain loaded when they're turned back on. Also, you can still fire the loaded guns when they're in reserve, they just won't be re reloaded until you reactivate them. F5 turns off the whole side of guns, but you also have the option of turning off a single deck using the function keys F1 through F4. F1 is the top deck and F4 is the lowest deck on a ship with four decks. In addition to sailing and manning guns, you also need crew when you are repairing and boarding. Ideally, when you are repairing, you will want to disengage from the fight so you can allocate crew from guns to repair so that you get the most repair done in the shortest amount of time. The same goes for boarding preparation. The more crew you can free up for boarding, the better. As you lose crew during the course of battle, you'll find they are getting slower to reload guns and to operate the ship. And it'll be, it will be more challenging, but also more important, to manage your crew well. This is why it's important also to have rum on board to restore your crew and keep their numbers up. Practice managing your crew in easy NPC battles so you're ready for the important PvP battles.